created the title and we really like the title and we might want to save it to use it on another project. We might even want to save it to use it on another machine. So here's a couple of bits of workflow that really helps us. If I want to use it on another machine that's got Premiere Pro or even another version of Premiere Pro, I can select the title itself, so let's choose Welcome to Sea Houses, and then go to File, Export, and notice that I can export the title. And it's going to give it a name. It says Title Designer Title, and it's a .prtl file, and it's called Welcome, and I'm saving it in a CS6 folder, that's fine. Click Save, and now I have exported that title ready to use in Premiere Pro CS 5.5, which I'm going to use in a minute to demonstrate something that's not in this earlier version of CS 6. Okay, I'm going to double click Welcome to Sea Houses because what I want to do, and I'm just going to move what we're seeing it because at the moment we don't want to see the other one, and what I want to do is I want to save this as a template that I can use on this machine but in other projects. So there is a little button here which is called Templates. Notice that there is a keyboard shortcut, Control J, Command J on a Mac. Click that and it opens another dialog box. Now the reason I'm going to use the CS 5.5 is that these title designer presets are full in 5.5, whereas obviously in this early version of CS 6 they're not there. But I do have user templates. There's nothing in it at the moment. But if I click this little fly out arrow here, I can import the current title as a template. Notice also you can import a file as a template. I'm going to import the current title as a template. It says what do you want to call it. I'm going to call it Welcome Sea Houses. And I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that it's come in as a template. Ready for me to use any time I want in any other project. It's actually saved there, ready for me to go. So I can click OK and I can shut this down knowing that if I ever need to create a new title, I can go Control T opens up the title dialog box and I can call it whatever I want to so I call this new title click OK and it comes up with nothing but if I then go to my templates I can go to my user templates there's my user title one select it click OK and it actually brings it in as a template ready for me to use now I'm going to shut that down and I'm going to actually take this new title and just click the bin to get rid of it and I'm going to go over to CS 5.5 just to demonstrate what should have been here in this early version of CS 6 but obviously isn't yet. It's the amount of title templates that we actually have available to play with. So if I go to CS 5.5, firstly, let me import my title. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Import, or Control or Command I, and notice that under that folder there is the Welcome Project Template. And if I pull across, you'll see that it's an Adobe Premiere title. I can just double click to import it, and there it is in my project panel. And I can take it and drop it into my titles bin if I wish to. Double click it, and it opens up exactly the same as before. Okay, so what about other templates? I'm going to create a new title, so Control T. And again, I'm just going to call this new title Example click OK and now I can look at my templates so I can go to my templates folder here and I can look at any user defined ones that I may have but also there's a whole bunch of other ones that have already come in that we can use and modify so for instance there's this area called lower thirds and you can click on lower thirds and you can check any one of these and edit the text and if you want to scroll through them simply use your up and down arrows to go through until you find one that you like and when you find one that you like, say that one there, you can click OK and in it comes. But you can still get in there and change it. So I can change title 1 to Lighthouse. And I can change title 2 and get in there and change it to Sea Houses. And I can even change these shapes. We're going to look at shapes and things in the next tutorial. So you can use title templates to create all kinds of different things, including full screen ones and some business ones and really you need to play with them and work out which ones you want to use and which ones will work well with the project you've got but when you get Premiere Pro and it ships with all its bits and pieces you'll find that you've got an awful lot of titles that you can add and change and modify to your heart's content if you're not feeling that creative in the first place 
Now in the next tutorial we'll actually start to looking at creating these lower thirds and looking at creating shapes and how we can arrange things so that we can create our own custom title.